From 1998 to 2000, the Portland Trailblazers were one of the most dominant teams in the NBA. Tim Livingston grew up as a kid in L.A. I gravitate towards the irreverent, unfiltered former basketball player. A Laker fan with an appreciation for a certain era of Portland Trailblazers basketball. People out there always think of us as the Jailblazers. I didn't really understand the cultural significance to that Jailblazers team until a couple years ago. The Jailblazers are the focus of a documentary that Tim directed for Underdog Fantasy Sports. I got to know Rashid and Bonzi uh, from doing the podcast Whistleblower. Podcasts to film with friends. Bonzi Wells and Rashid Wallace are the main subjects of the piece. The whole time they was calling us that. I ain't go to jail. You go to jail? No. Damon ain't go to jail. Sabonis ain't go to jail. Uh, Pip ain't go to jail. The trials and tribulations they had with the local media at that time and, and with the police were were really indicative of some cultural and societal problems that we're still dealing with today. The Jail Blazers mini doc was uploaded to YouTube to view for free last week. I'm excited for more, a lot of people to understand this side of Sheed and Bonzi, Rashid Wallace and Bonzi Wells that they've never seen before. Bonzi is now head coach of Lemoyne Owen, a Division II HBCU program in Memphis. Sheed was last an assistant coach with the Memphis Tigers in 2022. These guys are so passionate about basketball. They love this game so much, and that was the shame with this era is that that got lost, that these guys were incredible basketball players that are really that were passionate on the court. We were misunderstood, and I think we were before our time. And we can tell people what really, really, really was happening so they can form their real opinion. For a link to Tim's documentary on the Jailblazers, you can find that within the story on kptv.com. In Rip City, Nick Krepke, Fox of Oregon.